Okay, so I made a video a couple months ago with my vast knowledge of game development on triggering audio with a uh, collider. Using this, you got a play state, you got a collider, and then it uses um, audio play. I mean, it worked okay, but it's not how you really do it. Let's go ahead and redo this. It should say take about the same amount of time, except you'll be able to trigger audio and control them from anywhere. Bring in our cube because it's handy to have as a trigger. Let's go ahead and create two triggers, um, maybe one for entering the room. We'll trigger our music. And the next one we'll actually have uh, maybe playing sound while we type on the computer. How fun is that? Yes, we're gonna use the collider as a test, but we can also use it elsewhere in scripting or whatever, but this is more to show the versatility of um, calling FSM events. So we're gonna create an empty object and call this all audio unnest it. Okay, I'm gonna create, create a couple things under here. Um, right now we have music and we have computer typing sounds. So I'm gonna go inside of here, I'm gonna create a new event, create an empty event, call this uh, sound. It's like back in the VB days, everything was three letters. Sound uh, music. And create another empty event called sound uh, typing. Okay, now these things, you can actually park components onto them. Okay, sorry about that. So we can actually park components onto an empty event. So we do add a component. And instead of doing play audio, we're gonna do an audio source. Okay, and then we, in the same way, we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, add the audio clip to the component. Okay. Same thing going on with send sound typing. We're gonna add a audio component, an audio source, sorry. And the audio clip I have is keyboard typing. Okay, now, that's better. So, we test it, nothing's gonna autoplay. Actually, that's not true. They will start auto playing. Okay. And also on the typing, we want to make sure it is set to loop. Oh, I don't know why I imitated that. You know what typing looks like. Um, so now we're ready to use these pieces. You'll notice on this top check mark, they're both deselected, so they're not going to auto play. But now we need to create global events. So we're gonna create an FSM for both of these. An FSM, that's fine. But we need to create a new state or a new event called play music. And we're gonna create another one called stop music. And over here, we're gonna do create, this is different. We're gonna do a, a global, add global transition. One for play music. And another global transition to stop music, okay? Okay, so we have these two global transitions and they both have the audio source attached to them for this FSM. So for play music, we can simply drag the audio source into it. We're gonna set the property and that is enabled. And click the checkbox. Same thing with the stop music. We can just copy and paste it. Copy, paste, except we're gonna deselect it. So now if we go to our box over here that has a basic collider for playing music, drag that out. I don't have to name it anything, but let's do play. And what we're gonna use here is send event to FSM. 
right here. Okay, so play music, come over to here. What we're gonna do is specify a game object. Make sure that we're locked. That's what I did last time, made a quick mistake. Specify a game object. Our FSM is locked. We're gonna click our empty object, drag that in. That's the game object we're referencing. And now we're gonna reference the FSM name. It's usually FSM caps in case you renamed it. And we know the event is play music because it knows what the events are named within that FSM, that object. Okay, let's go ahead and test that. Okay, we're gonna make this guy the whole size of the room. So as long as that person in this room is gonna play this music, just for kicks. Okay, so we entered our cue. We're gonna make it play the whole time we're hovering around the computer. And we're gonna change this here to trigger on stay. It's gonna play this music at a finished state. Come back. And then we're gonna add another state, trigger. And it, the trigger event is on exit. So it's not on enter or leave, it's just when you actually leave that area. Set event, new event. To change our event to stop music, finish, come back, exit cube. So that should work just fine. Can't really see anything though. So we're in the cube, we leave the cube, it stops. Now, if we can just go ahead and make this guy transparent obnoxious we're going to turn off this it's mesh render so it should, should still work fine now we go to our computer cube let's see where that was sitting there like that so we'll do the same kind of thing create an fsm two events okay now we're going to go back to our audio components. Should be keyboard typing. Drag the audio source into start typing state. I'm going to set its property to enable. Check that. Do the same thing. Drag it into here. Set audio property for enable and make sure it's deselected. It's fine, that's all you have to do. So going to our collider for the programming cube. Let's turn this on so I can see what we are doing. That's the programming cube. Under play, it's a collider. Going to back over here, called the start typing. Good. Actually, call this stop. So lazy. Send event to FSM. Not using the owner. Locked. We're going to do the typing. Drag this guy over. You should know already our FSM name is FSM, and it already knows the events 
that we programmed. One is start typing. Same deal. Paste. This should be stop typing. Okay, so we have our two cubes. One is the uh, music cube. I'm gonna go and turn off its mesh render. And we have the program cube. I'm gonna turn off its mesh render. And that should be everything. So let's give it a shot. So there we are, grab some food, blah, blah, blah. We should enter the music trigger here. If we get close enough, we should be able to start typing. Back out of typing. And we're still in the music cube until we leave. Back into music. And then in typing. That is it. So I think that's a better way to handle music. Um, you could do fade out, fade in events. You can also um, go to a certain part of the music if you want to. And But the fact that you can call these music things as global events gives you limitless possibilities instead of just using colliders. Well, even though I use the colliders in this example, all you have to do is call this thing from anywhere in your scripts and you should be uh, able to do whatever you want.